Were you acquainted with Mr. Kavanaugh, the victim? N no I was mostly in the kitchen! Never mind acquaintance, like, I didn't even know he was a guest! Do you not know the faces of any of the guests? Oh, uh, well, I knew Mr. Natsukage, since he's pretty well known worldwide. That's nice to hear. C could I ask for an autograph? If you can spare the time. Later. Thank you so much! If it's true that he has no acquaintance with the victim, then... How about the commotion in the hall? Oh, I knew about that, since the kitchen is right nearby. But I don't know who it was who was causing trouble. It was right around noon, so I was busy with all the orders. How well could you observe the situation in the hall from the kitchen? Oh, uh, there are some parts that are glass, but it was up against the wall, so I didn't see. I see. Thank you very much. You could only hear sound from the kitchen. But, I don't know, okay. <laughs> I've been through that. Let's keep talking. Did you bring off this sponge cake? Huh? N no! I just cut it, really! I didn't carry it or anything! Um, I hardly intend to doubt you that severely. So, it was someone else who brought it to this room. Y y yes I didn't deliver the cake! Yeah, when the sponge cake was ordered, we were extracted to take it to the room. Uh, um, well... I did take the, that order, but, like, it was another worker's job to take it to the room. Did you notice anything unusual about that worker when they returned? Uh, n nothing of note! Well, it's possible that the worker poisoned the cake in transit. There are other points of interest here. Is that enough? Asking me won't, won't get you anything! Did anyone else catch your attention? N not real oh I did hear people shouting outside the grand hall. That's about it. Shouting. Y yes there was a blue-haired guy and a rugged blonde haired man. They were uh, um loud enough to hear in the kitchen. I wasn't shouting that loud. No, you were clamoring. I heard it from the hall too. So there was some clamor. I'll make note of that. Uh, okay. It echoed all the way to me. It, it was scary. Surely. Hey. Now, now. This testimony may be important. Quiet, Tatsukage. Uh. Though nervous and confused, he's speaking his words carefully. So, we have no choice but to pull out the info ourselves. Given our position, he should answer what we ask. So if I'm lost, I should ask for more. Hmm. Let's see... I didn't even know he was a guest. Is there anything here we can use? Before the tumult in the Grand Hall, you all heard a blue haired girl and a rug blonde haired man shouting. Yeah. Yeah. You said he had no acquaintance with the victim. And had never once met him. Uh, uh, huh? If that's true, how are we able to describe the appearance of the victim? Natsukage, did you see Yo when you left the room? No. Did you really never meet the victim? Was it really another worker who brought the cake? We got you now. Pardon me, Mizana, the evidence. Something new? While we were talking, Nanshi told me to check the scene again, so I did. And this is what I found, by the curb in the corner, a crumbled page from a memo pad. What does it say? Hmm. Natsukage, yo! That's your name, isn't it? I think I have some explaining to do. Uh, that's right! I was so busy my ass spun! My memories got all jumbled! Yes, that's it! I left the kitchen once to use the bathroom! That's when I saw Natsukang and victim quarreling! But that's all I did! I really didn't deliver the cake or talk to them! Uh. I sure didn't see you. Well, you looked like your blood was boiling and your room faces away from the hall. Mr. Natsukage. It's a non-zero possibility 
Without unsurveillance cameras, we can't deny it. Still, I'm still curious about some things. Can we go a little deeper? Y yes, uh, that's fine. He surely didn't meet the victim in his room. Is that proof? Just intuition, I guess. Maybe it's years of experience, but that can end up being right pretty often. You really are weird. You too, Mr. Chan. I feel a bit less nervous. Now, I need to refocus. So, so I saw Mr. Natsuka and Victor on a bathroom break. That's why I knew what he looked like. His Hawaiian shirt really stood out. Did he talk? N no, we didn't! He came walking toward me looking all scary. I just ducked behind the wall and trembled. I wasn't attacked or anything, but for real, I, I felt like he'd kill me if I talked to him. I then returned to the kitchen without incident. Y yes I got back there okay. Well, maybe with a little psychological damage. I could see that. Hmm. Nothing here really. And it's you who made the sponge cake. Uh, uh, I told you! I only cut the cake! Uh, how, how could I use the poison? Well, we can't be certain yet. That's really what I did! That's all! So, so if you could talk with them instead of me. Just in case, you had the duty of cutting the cake and transport what's left to someone else, correct? Uh, I, is that what, what, what I keep saying? Then, could you make that clear in your early statement? Uh, yeah! Ah, oh, this guy, man. Who's this worker who transported the cake? I, I don't know, dude! Why not? I was, I was busy in the kitchen! We put finished dishes on the table, then another worker takes them! That's our system! About where's this table relative to where you were? Uh, uh, right behind me. There's no way I, I would just happen to see the face of whoever picked it up. All right. Can I pan that information? G got it. You didn't see the worker's face. It's the busy in the kitchen to notice much. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue. There's a poison detector too, so you shouldn't even be able to do that. I see. Something's off with his claims. Make sure you ask for details to make any ambiguities clear. I'm not sure if there's something here, maybe it is, but I don't know. What we got here now? Oh wait, we got this! He came walking toward me looking all scared, just stuck by a wall and trembled. Wait a sec. Oh, never mind! But you definitely talked to each other, right? So... No, we didn't. We Okay, maybe if I try to present the topic, which is this one. No? Okay, this wasn't really leading to anything. But they must have talked. It says so in this notepad. This memo pad, I mean, not notepad. It's kind of the same thing, whatever, man. <laughs> okay, let's keep talking. No. Nothing here, really. Or maybe. If you never met him, why is the name of this memo? What? What is that exactly? Earlier, Natsugaku told us that Mr. Kavano made a note of everyone he met. If what you say is true, your name shouldn't be here, should it? Furthermore, this page was found crumbled up and stuffed away somewhere hard to spot. On the desk was a pad which only said Natsukage. One could certainly suspect it was meant to mislead. I really, I, I honestly didn't take the cake to the victim. It's true, dude. You're still claiming that. Can I have a second? I talked to the workers. It does seem it was another worker who brought the cake. S See, it's not me. Why did you go talk to them? However, something he said did interest me. Mm -hmm. The one who ordered the sponge cake and took it to the room 
was Miss Miyumi. Is this true? Yes, I did place the order. Took it from the worker on the way. I brought it to the room. Hold on. So just because Miyumi tried to order him something as an apology for the trouble I caused. You didn't testify about that earlier, did you, Natsukage? True. Knowing that would increase my suspicion of Miyumi. But such actions can also work against you. Natsukage! It's alright. All I seek is the truth. Please trust me. But then... What of this memo? Uh. But, well, maybe he ate the cake and before the poison killed him, he got up to writing me, which would be a vertical line away from yo. M maybe she started to pin the crime on me. Uh. You little. That's like elementary school logic. Calm down. Uh. Miu me. Will you speak with us? <laughs> Yes, please, ask me anything. You aren't feeling tired, are you? You did see the crime scene too, after all. Yes, it definitely was shocking. I'm quite sure the scream I heard of where the body was found was yours, Miyumi. Yes, it's inesquizable. Inesquizable? Ah! Come on, I meant in inexcusable! I thought I learned that one ages ago. I still have a lot of studying to do. I think you're pretty good myself. Thank you. So then, about the sponge cake. Yes, Natsuka was in an extremely bad mood. I asked why, and he said he fought with the victim. But I thought it would be rude to leave it at that. So I ordered him a sponge cake as an apology. And you took it from a worker on... Uh, and you took it from a worker and root. Yes, I also thought it would be rude to just sell a cake without Natsuka giving a personal apology. But Natsuka said he didn't want to see him for a while. So I thought, if at least I could do it. Ah, that explains the reasons for taking the cake to his room. Now, we can derive a new possibility. The more we learn, the less certain it all becomes. We need to make note of the workers' statements. You've only seen something does not get me there. What is it? Mm. They say that you left the kitchen. After the commotion, the hall occurred. So, what you saw while going to the bathroom was... Yes, it's a strange statement he's making. Anyway, have a chat with Miyumi. We might be able to grab onto something from there. Right. I heard that Natsuka had done something extremely rude to the victim. So I ordered a sponge cake for an apology. And while work was instructed to take it to him, you took it on the way to deliver it yourself. Yes, I took it in the hallway. They brought it to the room. What about after you brought it? I went back to my room. I wanted to talk to him too, but I couldn't. You can talk to him. Yes, I took it in the... What? Did you notice anything odd about the cake? Or the worker at the time? Wait, I forgot to ask, I think. No, nothing especially. You would notice the poison by sight, of course. So you can't know whether it was poisoned by them. Hmm. No, with the worker. No, it wasn't your either. They were, um, average ish. So nothing unusual. Yes. Nothing up there. At that point. Yes, there was a little problem after. What was that? I couldn't meet Mr. Kavano. We didn't meet him. When I brought the cake to the room, there wasn't a single person in it. The door was left wide open. I wonder if it was an emergency. There's something here I'd like to know more about. So, Mr. Kavano was not in his room. Yes. It was unlocked, with no one inside. She didn't meet Kavano, and Kavano was taking notes of who he met. Indeed. So try presenting topics in that way, and ask for more if necessary. 
Okay, we've been through this. I forgot to ask about something. I just need to find that point again. Oh wait, did I skip it? I think I skipped it. Oh dear man. It seems like I didn't miss anything, so I might as well just continue. Let's see. I can meet Miss Kavanaugh. Wait. So that means... Wait. Just... Let's just put send the topic. Here we go. You're not meeting Mr. Kavanaugh is something we know from his memo as well. Because he said he was notes about everyone he meets, yeah. Did you wait around in the room or anything? No, I mean, the room was a mess. I didn't even know where I should. I put the cake on the desk, and I went right back to my room. Chronologically, it's likely this was after his outburst. If it's true, he wasn't there. His outburst? Why was Mr. Cameron not in his room? Hmm... This? He had not Chicago wear. A little after that, I think. Right, later. Oh, sorry. There we go. Yes, after his outburst, obviously it was after his fight with Natsukage. Mr. Kavanaugh must have been getting escorted by guard around then. And that's why Mew and Kavanaugh never met. I see, that does seem right. Satisfied with that explanation. Yes, as far as Mew goes. However, there's a strange thing here. Yes. When Mima arrived, the door was left open. She put down the cake and left. When Mimi arrived, the door was left open. She put down the cake and left. Hmm. Wait. Which means... The prints of the doorknob were wiped after Miyumi left. Yes, that's what it means. When Mr. Kavno got back, he shut the door. Then the carpet came to check and wipe the prints. There is that possibility. I've been wondering about that. What do you mean? Say, the cake was poisoned in the kitchen. If the carpet knew that poison would kill him, would they really go check if he was dead or not? Mm. Intentionally, leaving suspicious evidence like white prints. I can't really understand it myself. I see. Why would that be? Well now, I think we're starting to see why. I think it's just you, Nanase. Really? But you do seem to notice something out of place, Bisanu chan you know, there's something you're not satisfied with. Indeed, but I can't be sure what it is. That's good enough, and you have the info. So, you just sort it out. Alright. Can I return to the scene again? Go ahead. Thank you. Alright! Well, let's first review the case. The victim is Mr. Kavanaugh, a magazine editor. He asked Natsukage to an interview, but it turned into a fight. Then Mr. Kavanaugh threw a fit in the Grand Hall and was escorted away. Around the same time, Mimi took a sponge cake to his room as an apology. After the fight, I was just flown out of the room and left his door wide open. But then the door was closed and someone wiped away the fingerprints. Why would it be necessary to do that? What if the purpose wasn't wiping away the fingerprints? Wiping the door without the intent of wiping off the prints. Let's get to the root of matter. What if the sponge cake wasn't poisoned? If it wasn't poisoned? Mm. It's a big cruise ship. These days I can't imagine it wouldn't have a poison detector installed. So, it would be next to impossible to poison it in the kitchen. So, where's the poison? Was the poison on the victim's hand? Yes, because he did seem to eat the cake with his hands. And there was poison on the cake. Obviously. Where exactly was it on each? On the hand, it went from the palm to his fingers. On the cake, there was small quantities in the places. Well, if the cake had been poisoned, 
I would expect a bit more there, Rinji. It looks like more poison was on his palm to me. Could it be? I think it could. Maybe he didn't eat a poison cake. Maybe he ate a cake with poison hands. Yes. You seem to have made a connection. Poison was put on the doorknob. And the killer wiped it up after the victim's death. You all left the kitchen after tantrum the victim threw. But it came that they left before that. So we did. Why didn't he do lie? It seems we'll have to ask. Nanase, there's something I want you to check. For you, Mr. Chen, I'll delete literally anything. Yes, I see. Hold on a second. I think this is it. I gave it a scan. And I think you've hit the nail on the head. Bingo! Let's sell it with this. Alright. Alright, we got this. Looks to me like you've got it all together. Yes. Yo, you said that you left the kitchen while Kavara and Natsuka were fighting. Y yeah! Yet according to what the other workers said, you left the kitchen to go to the bathroom after the commotion in the hall. Could we receive an explanation? Uh, well! Oh, oh yeah! My head! My, my eyes are spinning! My, my memory is all messed up! So I... Um... I understand. Please, relax. Could we talk with you again? Is that alright? Uh, oh! Sure! Did you really not meet Mr. Kavanaugh? I did! Why did you speak as if you hadn't? Because you'd be suspicious, right? I said it to Miyumi, but I said it again. All I'm after is the truth. Please tell us the details so we can find it. Oh, okay. Just a step away. I'm sure we can handle this, Miss Anachan. Be sure to check all your info. Indeed. Alright. We get this. It's possible the poison wasn't put in the sponge cake, but instead on the doorknob. And we got this. An apron put into the employee washing machine. Besides dirt, there's a small amount of poison on it. <laughs> we got you now, y'all. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Firstly, you leave the kitchen only once. Uh, um... N no! Several times for bathroom breaks! So, I didn't leave the kitchen to meet him or anything. Did you leave the kitchen for anything other than to go to the bathroom? Nah, nothing but that. I see. Then please state that. Ah, uh, uh, sure. Then, how did you meet Mr. Kavanaugh? Uh, 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 it was after the incident in the hall, on the way to the bathroom. He called to stop me. So that's where we talked. Are such detours of the job allowed? Uh, uh, well, it was about an order. It was work, so I listened to him. Add that to the prior statement, please. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Other notes. He met Yo before Natsukage. We'll probably get to that later, I guess. Anyways. Let's see. Oh, wait, I didn't... Oh, I didn't get to read that, I think. Oh wait, I did read that, never mind. I'm bad, sorry. What did he talk about? He told me his order for dinner personally. But all I did was hear his order. It's not like I said much myself. There wasn't much else of note. Did you talk about anything else? N n n no we didn't! Nothing at all. R really dude, just the order! Then please append that. G got it! Hmm... He didn't discuss anything else like Natsukage. Uh, well, he did complain about some random things. Their affection was blinding, and his complaining went on a little long. It kind of exhausted me. Oh, but I didn't talk back to him or anything. What do you mean, their affection? Uh, um, it was a huge ring he was wearing. The light reflecting off, it was really blinding. Wait. A ring? 
I see. Can you add that to your statement? Uh, okay. No. No, that's wrong. You first met Mr. Kavala after his outburst because he called you over. That's what you've said. Th th that's right! Uh, that's strange. In that case, you should have been able to see Mr. Kavala's ring. Because when I was fighting with Natsukage, he took it off and threw it at him. Gotcha. Can you explain? Uh, uh, yes! It was on the floor! I was just a little confused! Really? Uh, yes! The ring was on the floor. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you are so totally wrong. Indeed. The objects he threw at Natsukagu were scattered all over the floor. But the ring was underneath the dresser. You should not have seen it. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to say? No! Uh, no! No, 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 no! The gun's gone! Is that enough? I didn't even bring the stupid cake! There's tons of people in the kitchen, right? How would I put poison in it? In the kitchen, yes. But this crime will be possible without needing to use the cake. Well, that... Where was the poison applied? On the dirty apron. This is wrong. What? Oh! The doorknob. What? What the hell? Oh! This one. <laughs> oh man, I'm so <laughs> I'm so freaking dumb, man. Yes. The poison wasn't in the sponge cake. It was put on the doorknob. It happened. Yes. After this outburst in the hall, the place was crowded with onlookers. It wouldn't take too long to apply the poison. I would think it's perfectly feasible. Furthermore, this crime doesn't appear systematic to me. I suspect it was more on impulse. You met Mr. Kavanaugh and something happened. Afterward, you took Mimi's order. Steading your soul while Mr. Kavanaugh wasn't in his room due to his actions in the hall, you caught the doorknob in poison. But, but, you didn't find poison the doorknob, did you? Yes, because it was wiped clean. And how? Could you know that the doorknob was poisoned and then wiped, huh? Because only Natsukag's prints were found on it. What? Huh? On the outside only. I see we put them there, where we found the deceased Mr. Kavanaugh. And if the knob wasn't wiped, it would be odd that we didn't find the prints of at least Mr. Kavanaugh. The room's owner. Uh, uh, then, how and why would I wipe it? If I was carrying anything with poison on it, it would be detected immediately, right? He's bringing up himself. Well, let's finish this. <laughs> there we go, finally. This, it was thrown into the employee washing machine. An apron. It's the same as the one he was wearing. Faint traces of poison were found in his apron. With just a little more time to scan, we can also find out who wore it. And the apron you're wearing right now it looks a little clean for someone who's been working non stop in the kitchen. Do mm. you think you can still talk your way out? G <laughs> you're wrong! Wrong! About what? I. I just. I just. I just. I just. I just did what you said! <laughs> and he's fainted. He did seem like a timid one. Then why become a killer? Who knows? It does seem like it was an impulse as you said. When it comes to impulses, it's possible people might just do anything. Later. After you woke up, we talked with him. Long ago, a close friend of his went through hell being subjected to one of Mr. Kavanaugh's interviews. His friend was still traumatized by it even now. Something you're always worried about. 
when he came to Mr. Cameron's room for an earlier order. Cameron told him the story about his friend with a laugh, and his emotions were shaken, he said. The rest was largely as I predicted. So it's over. Well done. No, your advice helped tremendously, Nanase. I can see I'm still inexperienced. Hmm, you are maturing, though, and you're only going to get better. Please, don't compliment me at random. It'll give me reason to be conceited. <laughs> Can I be as nice as your dad is mean? You've been looking sort of dissatisfied. And you look like you know it all, Nanase. Oh, I just know things I don't know. Maybe it's the same malaise as you're feeling, Miss Inichan. Certainly. He was the one who poisoned Kavano. But, would someone as cowardly as him come up with such a method out of the blue? I wonder. And the poison used to kill him, too. Where did he obtain it? I would say it's a long way to go yet. There was someone who ordered you to do it. I guess I can kiss goodbye to having a relaxing cruise. Mm. Maybe it would have been better to go by plane. With you then, Anase. Something would happen even on an airplane, I'm sure. <laughs> it might. But, it could be that serial killer, you know. Mm. Never interfering in themselves, having others do crimes, and laughing from the shadows. Do you think so? Crafty aren't they? The people who actually do the murders either have no memory of the person or can't speak. So we can't learn anything. The culprit must delight in watching people kill people. That's a most unpardonable act. We must catch them. Yes. But we also must take a breather. A breather? Let's go to the pool! We will not. Aren't you feeling hot? I am not! Surely you want to go for a swim now, Miss and Jen. I, I definitely do not. Let's swim! That last one was far too heavy handed. Mm. Don't earnestly plan your next move, please. Uh, once things calm down and we reach our destination, we go swimming somewhere or another. The beach would be nice. Would it now? I want to have a barbecue. You're not going to swim. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, Mizuna. Now that that's done, I need a material. You! Why are you missing this room? I! No! Don't even get in your line of sight! Oh. You're energetic today, Dad. I do not call me Dad! It would seem just being with Nana so makes trouble all the more likely to break out. <laughs> but it's not such a bad future. Well, that was the bonus scenario. That was cool. I liked it. But, eh, I'm not sure about Nanashi and Misai-chan, honestly. Because in the future, Nanashi is like 8 years older than her, and that's kind of weird, man. But I guess they will stay as friends, I guess. I hope. I don't know. Until she becomes... To legal age or something like that, like she becomes Satan or whatever. Then they can start going out and be a freaking adorable couple. I would love that. And with that kind of ending, it seems like Miwashiba is hinting to a second game, but nah. Let's do not get our hopes up. That would be sad, man. Because, well, it's over now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the bonus scenario. I enjoyed it, it was pretty fun. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. And goodbye.